how to use ClickUp app tutorial. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ClickUp app on your mobile phone to access all of your projects and tasks on your mobile phone. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is if you have an Android or an iOS, you will be able to download the ClickUp application. So for that, I'm going to actually go to my app store here and we're going to search for ClickUp. So you can see this is the app right here. You need to download the application on your mobile phone. So I will download it. So once it's installed, you will be able to open it up. And now you need to sign in to your ClickUp on your mobile phone. If you do not have an account already, you can create one with your email address or you can use your Google account. So I already had an account on ClickUp. That is why I just logged in and this is where I got. So first of all, within our app, you will be able to find your home. Here we have three lines at the top left corner. You're going to select it and it will show you the workspaces that you have. I'm going to actually switch to my workspace here and it will show me the workspace. Now at the top here, we have notifications. We can get notification from Upwork to our mobile phone, uh, the simple notifications that we have. And then we have the settings here where I will be able to find my trending, my calendar settings, uh, multi-line task titles and more. So here, if I click on these three lines, we have again, favorites, spaces, dashboards, and documents. So from here, I can access the spaces that I already have. It is showing me all of the projects. If I open up a project for you guys, and let's open this one up, you will be able to see the view that we have. You can see this is the list view on your mobile phone. And I can switch the views here. We have a list view. I'm going to switch to maybe a board view. So this is what a board view will look like. You can see now I have boards. Uh, it's very easy. Again, I can create a task from here. From the top, we have this plus button at the bottom here of your screen. You will be able to see the plus button again, just how you see on your desktop. And then we have these um, quick access here. Uh, I can move a task from one list to another. It's a simple drag and drop. So I will be able to drag and drop any of the different projects here. So to create a new task on your mobile phone, you're going to hit plus button here and give your task a name. Let's call it task one. Now I can add an assignee as well. So I'm going to assign to this person here. Then we can add a description. Adding a description on your mobile phone becomes more easier. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and add a description, new task like so then we can add a due date so i will add a due date for tomorrow you can see accessing clickup actually allows me to access all of my work uh, on my mobile phone and it's actually making it more easier we can add priority let's add high priority here we can add tags in add tags i'm going to add the tags that i already created right here click on done and you will be able to see the task will be created. Click on this create button and the task will be added in your list. There you go. You can see I have a new task now. Similarly, I can swipe a little bit to access all of the different tasks that I have and the list that I created. Again, I can click on these three lines and switch between my workspaces that I have created. In order to create a new workspace on your mobile phone, you're going to hit this plus here and you will be able to create a private workspace or a default workspace here. We can select the status colors. We will be able to create boards as well. Within a workspace, let's say I want to create a new board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this plus button and now I have create a folder, create a document or create a list. So I will be creating a new list here. I can add this list to any of the projects that I have. Similarly, uh, if I want to move a project from one list to another, it's a simple drag and drop. Let me actually open up another one. So you can see this is a list view. And now I want to move a task from revisions to review. So it's a simple drag and drop. Let's say I want to move something from in progress to review. There you go. And the labels will be changed as well. Similarly, I can change the view here. We can add uh, different board views. We have department, important task, and more. Uh, switch between the view. It's easy. And now if I want to invite someone, if I want to share this workspace, how it will work is I will hit this share button here, share this view or share this list. I'm going to click on share this list and now invite someone. Um, so for that, we need to enter their email address. Very simple how we do it on our uh, computer. And now we can also select the access here, full access, edit, comment or view only. So what I want is I want them to add it. So I'm going to select this one and the access will be given to this person. 
So you can see this is a new uh, feature that we are getting within our app. We have these three dots at the top right corner that will give me more options such as the, the duplicate, archive, add to favorite, move, share, email to list, statuses, and color. This is where I will change the color for my workspace that I have created. Then I can also share this workspace with different people. This project, as I showed you, we can also share a link from here. Uh, and then we have our archives. We have our duplicates and add to favorites. Uh, we have this right here. This will actually show me the filters uh, that we have. So this is a filter option. Uh, and again, I can just click on these three lines and we have home, notifications and more. Let me show you again uh, how to create a new task. This time, let's create from this button right here. And now I can give my task a name, for instance, task 2. And here again, I can assign it to someone and I will add a description, add due dates and more in description. Again, I can actually go with a slash command and I will be able to then add a uh, to-do list, checklist and more. We can also create a recurring task. We will be able to create new tasks and also attach a file. Click on this attach option and it will open up your phone gallery for you. And from your phone gallery, you will be able to select a document. You will be able to select videos and images to your task here. Click on create and a new task will be created. Uh, similarly, if you want to create a new dashboard on ClickUp app, we can do that. So I'm going to switch to the dashboards now. And in dashboards, we have a default dashboard or a test dashboard here. So you can see this is a dashboard that I had. This one right here. Uh, this is a dashboard and I will be able to add different widgets uh, here and I can add add new widgets, we will be able to add new tasks into a dashboard too. Uh, when it comes to you click up app on your mobile phone and using ClickUp on your desktop, the main difference is the access that I am getting to all of my tasks at any time I am outside, I'll be able to create a task and get notification for a task that has been created. If I have a task due, I will be able to access it from here. I can create a new list, create new projects and collaborate with my team better and uh, be available at all times. We can, and, and it is all of the different tasks that I have here. These are actually the tasks that I created on my desktop. So the sync is already there. You don't need to import or export any kind of projects from one place to another. That's not how it works. Uh, if you are, uh, created a project there, then it will be added here as well. Similarly, we can create documents too. So switch to the document option here and I'm going to uh, go to all documents. I can access documents on my mobile phone. Uh, we have assigned to me, we have shared with me and private. I can even create a new document on my mobile phone. So you're going to click on create new document and give your document a name. So let's call it test, click on done and a new document will be created. Here, I can now type whatever I want to. This is actually one of the features that I really like. I can create a document within my ClickUp. So create a professional document that I used to do on my desktop. So let's create a new document for maybe a script. So I'm just going to give it a title. This is a script. And now I can just type in whatever I want to like this. You can see. And we have different fonts available. I can make the text bold. Um, I can also share this document with different people. So click on this share option and I will be able to share this document. We have these three dots at three lines and then this is showing me. I can add more pages to a document within my ClickUp app. So you just hit these three lines and add a new page, create a document with more than one page, access all the documents, share it, and also track time and create professional documents. So this is how we use ClickUp app on our mobile phone. I can access anything from here, just I do, just how I do it on my desktop. It is giving me all of the different features and tools that I look for. Very easy to use for free platform and a free app is available for iOS and for Android. So go ahead and check it out right now. You can download ClickUp application and get started. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. And now you know how to use ClickUp app save time and get more productive. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.